Hi, beautiful humans. Welcome to this reading. We are tuning into a blessing that is coming your way on, near, or around this next upcoming new moon. Welcome to Do You Tarot. If you're not familiar with my channel or pick a card readings in general, what I'm doing is I just shuffled this oracle deck and I'm getting three cards. All I'm going to need from you all is to feel your way into which of the three cards you feel most drawn to. And then once you are aware of that, you can head to the timestamp in the description of this video. It'll fast forward you to your messages. Group number one is wisdom card. Group number two, fairy spotting. Group number three, friendship. So feel your way, use your intuition, your psychic awareness, your energy, a random number picker, anything and everything. And then um, again, we're tuning into a blessing that is coming your way on, near, or around the next upcoming new moon. Go ahead, fast forward. I'll see you there in your messages. Hi, beautiful humans in group number one. You all were drawn to this wisdom card. So these are your messages all about a blessing that is coming your way on, near, or around in this next upcoming new moon. This is a timeless reading, general, meant for you when you find it and click on it. Um, but okay, your card that you were drawn to, it says, have you ever been told that you're wise beyond your years? Now is the time to call upon your inner fairy wisdom to help you with a challenge. Interestingly enough, I keep being drawn to this visual and I feel this sense of like your inner peace or something like that, your inner complexity, your knowingness of who you are is drawing a potential, I'm hearing the word love or lover, but just uh, <laughs> if that does not track, I'm hearing like a potential kind of a partner, like a soulmate, someone as driven as you are, someone as, you know, introspective as you are. Someone who just like really wants to be around your energy. I feel like that has a lot to do with your blessing. Is this particular other coming to you? <laughs> um, it, I'm going to get some tarot cards because I feel like there's a lot more to it than just that. I feel like that's like a blessing in and of itself. I mean, literally, <laughs> no matter what, for all of us, like someone who's drawn to our energy in that kind of a way that has to feel really, really good and like a blessing. Like, I don't know, like the energy of you being exactly who you are, having the qualities of what you are um, and that being what draws in people rather than just like circumstance and happenstance or something like that. I feel like something about your online presence or something about what you choose to share openly or publicly is drawing them in maybe. I just heard that, that I just channeled that and heard those exact words. So this might now be translating as well for a few of you into something about like an increase in devoted uh, subscribers or followers or something like that. Not just like, you know, people like, Haha, and then they move on. Like they really like, like what you're posting and they can see you in it and they're drawn to that like magnetically but okay let's get to your tarot cards and see a bit more about this blessing we have the nine of pentacles um very much feels like your energy and that's how this blessing is like coming about like this blessing is coming as a result of your energy being so much like self-defined i also was hearing the word self-contained as in like you you have a bit of like a, a coolness to you. That's not the right word. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Just like this kind of a, <laughs> an aura about you to, to these people or with this blessing and with this situation to where you're very like give when you can and otherwise, you know, you're just cool and you, you stay to yourself and, you know, inner peace or that kind of a vibe. Um... I don't know. You don't like, you're not, I don't know. I could go into that a little bit further, but we'll see. We have the page of cups as well as the moon card. And then we also have the death, the eight of wands, and then the king of cups. What I'm seeing with this is that the blessing of, of that, 
like what as what has been already described um it's gonna have some kind of a very positive impact on you almost internally that's what i'm seeing here in these cards it's gonna be like i don't know you thought that one of those energies of like <sighs> If you're, if you don't make it by the time you're 30, then you're never going to, or something like that. Like if you don't make it in your field by this, the, yeah, or something like that. There's something about, I'm getting this mega vibe in these cards of like, you thought that, oh my God. Okay. Here we go. The whole thing in this nine of pentacles, what I was trying to describe as your vibe, it's, it's this kind of like a nonchalant vibe. Like you, you post things on social media, you present yourselves to other people in this way of like zero fucks given, but like with intentionality as in like unconditional. Oh my gosh. Why did, was it so hard for me to search for that word, but, or for it to come? Like you have an unconditionality about your, about how other people feel about you. It's just this kind of like ease. Um, you might not realize that or notice it. And I think that that's a part of why this is such a blessing is because to receive sort of like a mirroring or an appreciation of your energy or your output or who you are, your beauty, whatever those qualities of you that you, you know, you share and you show this appreciation is going to have some kind of like this blessing of this appreciation, the inner blessing and in your inner world is, is going to just, I don't know. I feel like a blossoming, like an unfolding of a flower. Like, like you thought that, I don't know. I feel this energy of you thought it was too late to be loved or you had been posting on social media for such a long time and you hadn't really found your community or your niche. And then it's just, it's there. And more than that, it's there because it gets to be so authentic it just feels like a, a real a whole lot of appreciation that has the ability of helping you realize it's not too late. You're not dead yet. You were thinking that your situation was like old and in the past or something like that. And you're just going to live your life as you live it, you know, <laughs> like single forever. Who cares? That kind of a thing. But like this mirror card, if you can see, it looks like such a young person, like just in the, in the sides of their face and their arm. And when they look in the mirror, they see someone so old and it's such a confusing thing in the mirror, the, the mirror card, <laughs> that would be good in tarot. Um, the moon card, um, there are a few cards that could be mirror cards. Anyway, the moon card in tarot speaks of being able to see through or sift through the illusions of our world and our lives. This is going to be something newly felt for you. Fresh we felt for you. That's why it's such a blessing. I don't know. I feel like this, this has the potential of being quite a learning experience as in like, I don't know, you have the potential of being able to see some preconceived, you know, judgments that you might have still been carrying about yourselves, even though you have such a vibe of nonchalance and forgiveness and, you know, trust in the universe and non-conditional Ah, you just get, it really feels like actual sensation of true connection, like heartfelt connections, not just, you know, fame for the sake of it and not just attention because you look hot today or something like that, or because you said the right thing. This really feels like a transformative blessing. There we go. Transformative and liberating blessing. Something about, like, I swear I cannot say enough about this because the cards, they just feel really, like, strong and heavy. But this, this King of Cups right here is giving me the energy of it's going to have you have more faith and trust in the world. Like, and in your existence, like, I don't know. Like, the world isn't so harsh. And, and <laughs> people see you and, and you're seen and, um... I don't know, there's this energy of like a, as strange or weird or solo or anything that you are, there's something about this mirroring effect that'll help you realize like we're really, we're really all weird, who's normal or something like that, those kinds of vibes of like, there is quite a sanctuary for me in reality to be who I am and to do whatever it is that you're doing, you know? That kind of a thing. It's going to feel really, really good. I feel like you have such a, like, a, a rational, you know, nonchalance about you. And then this blessing is going to bring in, like, a heavy dose of emotionality to your rationality. So, you know, good luck with that. <laughs> we can feel so cool. And then something happens that's so emotionally stimulating that we're like, 
Oh God, I'm, I'm tearing up now. <laughs> All your coolness goes out the window. Um, it's a beautiful blessing, honestly. Okay, I have two more cards for you. We have Mexican Sunflower and we have Orgasm. This deck, I'm always afraid to use it, but it's such a good deck because it has cards like that, but it's very spiritual, okay? <laughs> not, not teenager, very like teenage boy. It's very spiritual. Okay, I'm gonna look in the book. Um, Mexican Sunflower, it says, I magnetize my desires. And then it also says, what part of me has been dormant? that is now ready to be expressed. That's the, the double layer of your blessing. The first part is that you magnetize. <laughs> you are magnetic. We, we've stated that, we've showed that a whole lot. Um, and you're gonna draw in those like, it's really cool. It's just like you're gonna get this blessing that shows you that you're a part of the ecosystem. A very beneficial part of the ecosystem of nature, humanity, who you want to be and what is right for you, that kind of stuff. Um, and then that second part, that part of you that has been dormant, that is ready to be expressed. This is so, this Eight of Wands as well, isn't it? Like the visual in this card. This this card is like the parts of you that you thought were just, you know, that I'm past my prime or something like that. It's like, here we go. Here we go. Like Eight of Wands is a very liberating energy in this deck. Like you finally receive the news that you've been waiting so long to hear. And then the orgasm card, I'm going to look um, for that. It says, my pleasure opens portals. Oh, God, I love that. I love that. Just everything. I kind of want to read a little bit more from the book, but I don't know. I don't want to take up too much of your guys' time, but it's just here we go. I'm gonna hold it up to the screen and if you guys want to, you can screenshot it, pause, you know, read from the book because it has a lot to do with your energy right now or like, I don't know, conscious awareness of how you are using, <laughs> you're using your energy wisely, it feels like. And I feel like your reading really wants you to know how much um, you've had a part to play in this blessing. It's really like that kind of like, don't just sit back and think that the world happens to you. Like really, really know that like you played a part in this. You have an important role um, in manifestation and stuff like that. We create our own realities, you know? Okay, your next two cards, obviously you have the star card because it is very much your shining energy. It's a very specific shining energy though, isn't it? It's like a shining, authentic, truth kind of energy that, of course, people are drawn to. I'm fe feeling a bit like um, Nazareth, biblical, Jesus-y with this kind of energy. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe we'll veer away from the Bible <laughs> and the birth of Christ to talk <laughs> parallel your blessing right here. But it's just this energy of you are a blessing for others and they know it. And, you know, it's pretty cool. And then we have Dreamer. That's nice. And again, I feel like there's, I feel like there might be a little bit more to this dreamer card, but it is talking about how you've been doing things um, that are true for you and authentic for you. And maybe this has a lot to do with like the dreams that you thought were gone and you, you know, you just peacefully let them go. I'm, I just saw this visual of it like you, you know, you did a ritual where you had a flower in your hand and you were kneeling by a stream and you're like, I will never be successful in my science career because I am now 29 <laughs> and it's too late. And you put the flower in the river and you're like, goodbye, that dream. And then you just let it coast away and you're like, ah, now I am released from having to bear the burden of that not existing in my life or something like that. Um, Oh, this is interesting. The, I, I, again, I felt called to look at the little booklet that this deck came with. And it says, for the dreamer card, be careful that you don't lose your balance. Time will come to sit down and paddle in the direction of your dreams. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this blessing is going to show you a thing or two about your manifestation powers and also show you a thing or two about maybe how long or like how long it takes to manifest particular dreams that are large or important or something like that um there's a lot to be said about that statement like i feel like this energy especially with this whole king of wands and the er, king of cups 
Um, and the eight of wands energy is like this blessing has the potential of having you sit down and paddle now. Ah, oh, it just really feels like you're going to reach some ben benchmark or milestone or something like that that you just, you know, had released. Okay, your next card. Setting up parameters. I like this. This is the trigger fish. Assess your relationships and determine how they are aligned with your goals. Totally. Your reading is all over the place with this. It's like relationships that are translating into goal achievement, basically, or dreams realized that you had already like kind of let go of. Setting boundaries requires an honest evaluation of your present relationships. I feel like this is a lot to do with moving forward after this blessing occurs. Sort of advice and guidance for how to best utilize this blessing. Um, maybe even setting up reality parameters with yourselves as in like you were too quick to... Um, let go of your dreams maybe but just in general i feel like that whole king of cups energy and that whole like breaking through the illusion kind of a thing like um you're gonna realize that the world like you know that uh somebody who's been so burned in love and then fears the the gender that they're attracted to like you know uh a, a heterosexual who fears like a man who's been burned in love fears women or something like that. Um, there's this energy of the reality of like, there are good women out there. There are conscious, you know, honest, you know, loyal, all those kinds of uh, qualities, you know, there are good men out there. There are good women out there. There are good, you know, people on social media. There are good people in your community out there. It's not all, you know, a war zone and a hazard. Like, I just really feel like that's going to help you kind of maybe open up certain boundaries, set different ones, redefine what your boundaries even are. Your last two cards about this blessing, we have polar bear. Stand up for yourself and speak your truth respectfully and compassionately with no attachment to outcome. You guys, polar bear is your nine of pentacles self. Polar bear is your Mexican sunflower self. This, this fairy on this wisdom card here. Polar bear, the star. <laughs> you, you've done the things to stand up for yourself and speak your truth respectfully and compassionately. And then all that kind of stuff that I was saying about a non-conditional or unconditionality, you know, no attachment to outcome. What will be, will be. You've been like super, super zen about this shit. Okay. And um, surprise, <laughs> things are going to go well. Um, and then your last one, weasel, be silent pay attention and simply observe with your eyes, ears, and physical feelings what is happening inside and all around you. Isn't that fucking beautiful? Isn't that so synchronous? This weasel card and the polar bear card. Oh, that's this energy of the second half of your blessing. It's like the first, it's both, of, both parts of your blessing are represented in these words. It's like, you know, be silent, pay attention. People are resonating with you. Like one person maybe. Like, connection actual connection pay attention to how that feels that's the second part of the blessing is like you know it's happening the connections that you wanted and then whoa what's happening inside of you shit <laughs> okay that's what i have for you all group one how do you feel do you like this reading has it helped you if so give it that thumbs up click on the subscribe button and comment below all of those beautiful things also check out the links that i have in the description of this video for some tarot offerings right now i am open for um live readings and then also i am hosting the next group tarot gathering at the end of this month i'm intending to do it every or the last saturday of every month. So basically, if you are a reader of any kind of divination tool, any deck, it doesn't matter how good you are at it. We do not care. If you want to come and hang out over Zoom with other readers and essentially bring your deck or your tool of choice and bring what you would like to receive a reading on. You show up, we will all give you a reading from several different readers all in one go, and then you take part in giving readings to other people. That's how it is. If you want to check that out, Head to the link, sign up for the next one. I'd love to see you there. Otherwise, send you on your way. Just please remember we are all free and we are also all connected always, group number one. I love you.
my beautiful humans in group number two, you were drawn to the fairy spotting card. So these are your messages all about a blessing that is coming your way, coming to you on, near, or around this next upcoming new moon. Wherever you are in the calendar of the month, this is going to be coming to you at that time. You were drawn to this card and it says, it's time to go fairy spotting. It's said that seeing is believing, but in fact, the opposite is true. Believing is seeing. I'm getting the vibe very overtly that part of your blessing is that if you choose to, or not even if you choose to, like I literally see some kind of awareness opening happening for you all. Like something occurs where it's literally inviting you to see more. Interestingly enough, like there's something like that you may have had some kind of a notion was possible for you all. And then something is likely to happen that opens like almost like literally I'm seeing like a, a, a doorway or it's like round and circular. So like a portal. So it's like a round doorway. And if you choose to go in, and I, I see you guys, the blessing is like this. And then some, <laughs> like it's, it's like an entering into this and then realizing so much more. It, it's giving me the vibes and the energies of the times that I have done private readings for people where they're, they're, they're asking about someone, like they're getting vibes from someone at work and they're just checking in and wondering like, what are they thinking and feeling about me? That kind of a thing. And then like, this has happened like a significant enough number of times where the cards have said like, yo, they're thinking this and this and this, as in like, they're very much so into you. And then the people will reply and they'll be like, whoa, I literally had no clue. And it, it, it's one of those kinds of things that I'm telling you all this because um, I, I feel like your blessing has a lot to do with opening yourselves up to a more accurate appraisal of self. There we go. I think that's what readings like that do is like, whoa, holy shit. They think that about me. Like, I don't even think that about me. Like, I don't even think I'm that hot or cute or interesting or motivated or <laughs> beautiful or any of those kinds of things. Um, I'm getting your tarot cards more or tarot cards now to see a bit more about this but I feel that your blessing is going to come in that form and hopefully your tarot cards, you get seven cards. Of course you do, because you've got that like expansion portal thing energy going on. Um, hopefully these cards will tell us a bit more specifically about like what this whole, you know, inviting portal of awareness is gonna be. But okay, we've got the eight of cups, something that you chose to walk away from. I'm hearing this. Something that you chose to walk away from is beginning again in an incredibly heartfelt manner, in an incredibly heartfelt way. Something that you kind of wouldn't have predicted. And like, as you as you choose to, I keep saying choose, but I, I know you're gonna do it. Like you, this is a blessing. It's something that you want or you wanted in the past. You just didn't expect that it would be possible or probable, or I don't know, you had a lot of doubts or it just like was left kind of empty. like. You know, someone ghosted you or something like that, but you thought that there was more there or anything like that. I'm feeling like a lot of relationship kinds of things, but I also want to translate that this blessing into like career choice or career options. Like you thought that, you know, financial freedom and that journey wasn't going to be possible for you or you forgot you, you, I just said the word you forgot, like, and I'm hearing like you forgot your dreams or something like that, you like kind of chose to, you know, create self sanctuary in some kinds of ways. This blessing is going to open up what had been as a potential of what will be beyond what you were imagining or what you thought or had fathomed. Here we go. We've got the Queen of Cups, especially in this deck. She's my tarot reader energy, <laughs> she's my psychic energy. And then we have the Four of Pentacles. There is a lot going on beneath the surface, that's for sure. The surface might portray, so funny, we have so many more cards to get to and I'm immediately intuiting a whole lot of messages for you all, they're just coming in. The surface of this blessing might present itself into something that's more for pentacles. 
like something that's more like protective or self-protective. Like if this is someone who you know, if this is like a, a, a love, they might, I don't know, anything, a friendship, a partnership, or in some kinds of ways, they will present themselves with that doorway first because they're being self-protective. And in that kind of a way, like you might be engaging with somebody who's a bit avoidant or something like that. So then they won't ever like on the surface show you how they're actually feeling and thinking. And that might be why you have this queen of cups here is because beneath the surface, there's a whole lot of shit, especially emotional. And it's like, do get a tarot reading. <laughs> like it is, it is kind of funny. It's like the tarot reading and that kind of a, like a vibe of being like very emotionally sensing and sensitive. It feels like it's like, okay, let's open this all the way up kind of a thing. We also have the Empress. And then we have the Seven of Cups, like a full realization of the potentials in your situation. And it has a lot to do with what you would choose for yourselves. Group two. This is pretty monumental. This really, this blessing feels like something that you may have manifested in the past in some kinds of ways and it might not have happened. The Eight of Cups, like you're just, oh, I guess that's not meant to be or that's not for me. And then it's just coming right back around in a way that you wouldn't have expected just because like, I, I don't know, you were reading the signs, you were reading the narrative and it was saying, nope, it's, it's emotionally vacant. <laughs> it's empty. Like you gotta move on kind of a thing. Like if you saw yourself in some kind of a field of action, like uh, I'm thinking like anything in the entertainment field, I was also thinking activism. If you saw yourselves like joining Greenpeace or the Peace Corps or something like that, and then it just like didn't pan out or something, this is like that energy of always oh, coming back around and you're gonna realize a thing or two about like what it means to you or like the full potential of what's possible here. Um, and then we have the Page of Wands um, represented very artistically here. And then we have the Six of Cups. This is like kind of, um, yeah, I don't know. I was reading a bit more into it, but we'll just stick with this blessing for now. Subscribe, <laughs> subscribe, and we can read more into it with future readings, that's for sure. Um, what's on the bottom of the deck? I just want to see, look, 10 of pentacles. It's like literally the energy of you can have your cake and eat it too kind of stuff. Um, I don't know, maybe this is coming back around because when you did choose to walk away, you found some kinds of space for stability and you're feeling pretty good and healthy right now. And it's, I feel like it's an option or an opportunity that is your blessing, genuinely, that's opening up for you. You don't have to open it. You're being invited into this portal. I see you're choosing it anyway um, and wanting it. And then from there, all this kind of abundant prosperity, like feeling really good about what's possible and what can be built and exploring the options, knowing what's right for you, making emotional decisions, being creative and inspired, wild, free, and then feeling really nurtured by it all. It's kind of like the Eight of Cups. It's, it's like you're transitioning from this Eight of Cups energy all the way to this Six of Cups energy into this thing of like this fairy spotting card. It talks about essentially the energy of a trust fall. Like it's like you're going to have to believe in order to see. I like to, instead of using the word belief because that feels so severe, maybe I have religion wounds of growing up Roman Catholic or something like that. I like to use the word and the concept of opening and allowing. Curiosity is much more <laughs> a philosophy that I align with quite well. But it feels like um, this trust tree, trust fall kind of energy is going to be unbelievably rewarding for you all. Like familiar, sanctuary I'm feeling, honestly. Like the more you go into that portal, the more it expands. It's just like, I don't know, literally you guys, I, I'm getting a bit metaphysical with this. I, I was already using the word portal, but I mean, this is literally a timeline opening up for you all that you had walked away from and it's cycling back around, like spiraling back around for another option and another opportunity. And it feels like instead of the spiral, you all will have, through this blessing, will have the opportunity to step off of the spiral and step pretty much onto a straight line straight toward your desires, your dreams, your visions, your hopes, your goals. It'll have you feeling quite fun, free, young. I almost want to say the words liberated and, and really, really like 
wise and joyful as in like shit okay here we go <laughs> i thought that this that ship had sailed and like damn okay this is awesome it's come back around for me awesome here we go i love that okay um two more cards for for you from the sacred cycles oracle deck it says menopause um and the spiral look at that spiral just like without even looking at the book, this is just, the, again, this energy of like, um, this was a lot in, I think it was in group number one of like, I thought I was, or I thought the time had passed. Yeah, this was group number one. For some reason, my brain is going blank, which means it's not that important. And I just, I'll just stay relevant with your blessing and your reading. The menopause energy is like, you thought that that had gone. You thought, oh, forgive this joke. For, it's not meant to be a joke, but forgive this turn of phrase. You thought that things had dried up and were no longer going to be a part of your lives. Or you, you felt like there wasn't any emotional sensitivity or energy in whatever it is that you are pursuing. Um, yeah, it's really giving me those kinds of vibes where like, you know, the tarot clients would book me and we'd check in and it's like, uh, it's not just that they're interested in you. They're like really intending on something with you. Like they really, really highly regard you. And yeah, a whole lot of info would come out that was very similar to your blessing. Um, and we also have cervix. <laughs> Shit. I love using this deck. It's so like feminine, but spiritual feminine as in like everything has a meaning. The cervix energy again is like, <laughs> it's just from menopause. Like, you know, I've moved on. It's dried up to like, how about we open further because there is so she's pregnant sorry there's so much more like fertilization and birth potential energy going on here um in your blessing again this the six of cups is giving me this energy of something or someone familiar to you i just i immediately intuited it with this eight of cups that it's something coming back around okay i'm getting to um there we go two more cards for you guys let's see a bit more about this we have rise, come on. <laughs> I just like spit everywhere. <laughs> I'm mature. <laughs> rise, like again, you thought, you, like it, this is very overt and biological, but you know, you thought your menstruation time was over in your lives or something like that, or you thought, yeah, no, it's the time for, I just, I really feel like this blessing is that it's the time for you to rise in exactly the fashion or with the person or in the manner rise into this blessing i feel like is the best way to say an interpretation of this card as well as the rise of this potential like i just really feel like this is this energy of like you thought that bird had flown off but it's like no it's come back and you you i don't know i'm getting a little bit too magical here like you get to fly now as well yeah and then we also have void Oh, that is so perfect, isn't it? With the cervix. Um, and like, you know, the metaphysical concept of the womb is the void and how the feminine is the darkness, is the nothingness or the, like the, you know, how existence and God and all that kind of stuff is the all. So, and then like, you know, the light and the masculine and then the, like the nothingness, the, the, like the great womb of all of existence is like more the feminine we've got the empress here and then we have the seven of cups and the page of wands which symbolizes to me a whole lot of creational force oh like an unbelievable amount of potential coming through in this blessing like i cannot stress that enough i feel a, a, like a severe and very very energized like huge like literally bigger than what you ha had anticipated or what the surface was even telling you especially before especially when you had encountered whatever this is, this person, this partner, this, you know, this, pa this, whatever. Um, before there's so much more there and there, there's, um, hold on. I dropped your card. The, that's the chair. It makes noises. Um, I should just switch the chair. Oh, well, that was too much effort. <laughs> Okay, yeah, I forget the next sentence that I was um, saying or channeling for you all because I felt self-conscious about the noises of the chair, but it doesn't matter because we've got a card that's saying more about the similar, if not the exact same sentence that I was saying. Surrounded by prosperity. 
<laughs> your attention is being drawn to the infinite nature of reality. I love just these three words surrounded by prosperity. And I love the, the, the Empress card. It is a card in tarot that means abundance. I like also including the word prosperity because that's kind of like the feelings involved as well. Like when things feel good, it's not just like you have a whole bunch of shit or something like that. Like you can have a whole bunch of time, but you're bored, you know, like it's prosperity. You're thriving. Prosperity makes me think of thriving. You're thriving in this. And you're surrounded by it. And I love that this like infinite nature of reality is again, making me feel like the void and the womb space and stuff like that. Your creational lives are not done, not done at all. That which exists outside the known is beyond measure. Fuck you guys. The known was very well represented by this four of pentacles. As, and what I was saying, like on the surface, something or someone presents just enough, you know, <laughs> but like you queen of cups, you use anything and everything. But I, honestly, I feel as if this blessing is like just enough. Here's the door. There's a lot more. I feel like it's an opening, an invitation rather than you having to do a whole lot of digging, but don't be afraid to do the digging because that which exists outside the known, the known being the four of pentacles and is beyond measure. The queen of cups, you know, the psychic, the intuitive, the sensitive kind of energy will get you to be able to see the stuff that is beyond measure. And how many times already in your reading have we evoked that kind of sensation of like, it's just way bigger than the doorway. Uh, like TARDIS, isn't it like uh i've watched one episode of doctor who forgive me i'm also thinking of encanto which i talk about a lot because i've watched that a lot <laughs> like the rooms are bigger on the inside you know <laughs> okay your last two cards we have manatee or dugong accept the situation as it is rather than fighting to change it you know, I feel like that's already what you had done. You know, you've been very accepting of what you chose to walk away from or what you knew you had to because it was like, you know, empty or whatever. Also, there's this energy of, you know, how throughout your reading, I kept trying to say you guys are going to choose to walk through the door, or choose to go into the portal. But honestly, this blessing, it feels like the portal itself or the doorway itself is going to envelop, envelop you. And you don't really have a choice. Please, it feels so strange. How can you not? I mean, we always have free will. You can deny exactly what you want till the ends of time. Why not? We do it all the time. Humans are so good at that. <laughs> Go for it. Go for it. <laughs> Fuck it. Um, the manatee is saying, do not fight this. <laughs> Why would you just float like a vaca del mar? And then we also have another seagoing animal with the seagull. Now is the time for deep emotional healing. Come on. It's like that stuff, the stuff, <laughs> you know, emotions, <laughs> that emotion stuff that was so dry and vacant and that you're like, well, you know, it's not there. Oh, well, it's, it's the menopause of this situation. It's done. Um, yeah, it's not. <laughs> and you're very fertile. <laughs> this is so feminine and biological, but at the same time, these are really good, you know, visual cues and metaphors for your blessing here. The six of cups, literally look at the layout of your cards from the eight of cups to the seven of cups to the six of cups. You're going like right back to where you knew that there was like a home space for you or a sanctuary or something very nurturing. <sighs> just hearing the word pivotal for some reason and that feels really good and again I'm just gonna finish off your reading by the ten of pentacles and how I felt called to say like you get to have your cake and eat it too this is your blessing you guys I'm done that's what I have for you all how do you feel you feel good <laughs> Um, if you want to give this a thumbs up, that like button, also subscribe, comment below. Also check out the links that I have in the description of this video for tarot offerings. Right now I am open for live readings and then I'm also hosting the last Saturday of this month, the next group tarot gathering. If you are a queen of cups and you, you love reading tarot or any kinds of divination tools, 
go ahead and check out, you know, what it is more. You can head to the link. It describes it a bit more, but basically it's, um, any level of reader is welcome. We get together over Zoom. All you need to do is show up with your deck or your tool of choice and something that you would like to receive a reading on. And all of us will take part in giving you a reading. You'll receive a reading from several different readers at one time, and you'll have the opportunity to give readings to others. So you get to practice your craft and receive from it. It's $11 to sign up. If you are interested, head to that link. I'd love to see you there. I love doing it. It's my favorite thing. <laughs> um, but okay, sending you on your way. Please remember we are all free and we are also all connected at the exact same time. I love you. Hello, beautiful humans in group number three. You all were drawn to the friendship card. So these are your messages all about a blessing that is happening for you on, near, or around this next upcoming new moon. Whenever you find this video, whenever you click on it, we're talking about that timeline here. But okay, you all were drawn to this friendship card and it says fairies and humans alike need friends. Now is the time to seek out those who will support and encourage you on your journey to fulfill your dreams. This is strange. Okay, as I was reading that, like, in it, I mean, the blessing very overtly is more people involved, but what I feel like more specifically is you getting involved and you opening up a lot more and maybe facing your fears around those kinds of internal, internal damage I'm hearing from friendship and from opening up and from almost literally this uh, encourage you on your journey to fulfill your dreams, support and encouragement. There's something about like a wounding there and the blessing is going to come in the form of friends, um, an encouragement to share what you're building, what are your dreams. And then I just really feel like it's going to be some kind of a, a, a support. Like I'm, I'm hearing group support, but I'm going to, I, this all feels too general and I want to get more specific with your tarot. So let's see a bit more about this, but the blessing I feel like, um, because while I was reading the words on this card, I need to tell you all, I was feeling this intense, like clenching all like in my mouth and in my throat, like my words were nervous to come out, which I don't, that's not normal ever for me when I channel, unless it's a part of the channel. So I feel like there's a bit of guidance or encouragement in this reading just in that alone. Um, for you to be able to like align with this, to be able to bring this in. I feel like you almost like clicked on this reading so that like it, it, this might sound a bit too magical for you all if you're quite practical, but then again, you're watching Tara on YouTube. Um, <laughs> but I feel as if this is one of those things where like you receive this reading so that you are aware so that when it does happen, it actually does happen. Like if you hadn't, I know this is getting like really metaphysical, but like if you hadn't watched this reading, then it might have like passed you by or you might have held back from communication or something like that. I just, I genuinely feel as if this is going to be something very healing for you, very nurturing, very beneficial in terms of like someone is going to be there for you and it's going to like address your friendship wounds. It's going to address your support for, for an encouragement for your dreams wounds going to address like just connection and relationship wounds in general and the blessing is literally like the counter like almost like the opposite um I, uh, opposite is the word the opposite of what you have experienced before that arguably was quite traumatizing in terms of like lack of support and lack of encouragement and any other you know trauma wounds that we've got surrounding friendship and connection oh my gosh your tarot here we go king of swords <laughs> open up <laughs> and then we also have the hanged man open up about what you are planning oh we also have the eight of pentacles what you are devotionally committed to and working on in your lives and then we have the devil card in this deck it's a very unique devil it's something about like walking away. You don't have any other choice. You know you need to and you know that if you shed some layers, you'll be free of that restriction or free of your own personal demise or addictions or anything like that. 
Ooh, two of cups walking straight toward your destiny. That's nice. And then the Empress. Wow. Um, and then one more. We've got the three of swords. There we go. It's the story that I intuited spelled out in tarot with a few more details like I wanted. Okay. The blessing that is coming your way is literally this kind of like aligned, like you're meant to be supported by this person. I feel like it's one person, but it, like, let's allow that it's a whole group. Let's allow that it is several people, anyone you are meant to. This is meant to happen. Like one of those, you signed a soul contract kind of energies of like, you are in alignment for sharing about your plans, your vision, your determination your actions that you want to take, but you might not be quite ready to take yet because your outer world isn't matching the sincerity and determination of your inner world. Or you've been doing this kind of eight of pentacles devotional work like on your own or committed in your private time or in your spare time. I say spare time with air quotes because we live in far too busy or stimulated of a world to truly have spare time. <laughs> um, that's a little joke. Um, not really, it's sadness. But regardless, this devil card with this, all of this, all of this, first and foremost, there's the king of swords. We're like, please open up like when this does happen. This is hella synchronous. You're meant to hear this. I almost never say that ever in my readings quite like this. You all who know me know that I, I'm not exploitative with tarot in that kind of a way of like, you have to see it or like, uh, this message is for you. Like that kind of stuff. I don't like doing that. Um... Yeah, this message is for you. <laughs> you have to see this. Like, this is how your blessing is going to occur, is for you to stand tall and speak what it is that you are working with, working on who you are, what you love, what you are aware of about yourself and how you feel, anything. It's just very much like very sincere, open, supportive transparency of communication is being encouraged, okay? And I almost wanna say because of this King of Swords, it will be well received. It Like people want to hear from you about this and there's something about these two major arcana right here, the Hanged One and the Devil. There's something that is going to occur that is going to liberate you by almost creating in the external world more of the frequency, more of the vibration, and more of the tangible, actual, real in your physical third dimensional life, the support that you require to be able to move forward through prosperity, through thriving, through abundance, through intentional awareness of what is right for you, what you're gifted in, what you're building. And then right here, the tail end, that seventh card that I felt called to draw for you is the three of swords, emotional healing of the heart space, mental awareness of it's going to be different. Remember, it's this opposite. You're experiencing the opposite. I do feel like I kind of want to, I don't feel like this, this might be for like a few, one or two of you. Um, if this, everything in this message was in relation to you being able to like make a speech or speak in front of a group or teach or guide a lesson or something like that, or be on social media on a platform. Yeah. This, this right here, this King of Swords is like, yeah, get on there, talk and, and share your story, share your story just in general for you all feels like the catalyst for you to be able to receive this blessing feels like work, doesn't it? I like doing these blessing readings because for me, I define a blessing as something that just happens. You don't have to do anything for it. But um, <laughs> the eight of pentacles and the hanged man lets me know you have been doing things for this blessing to happen. There's just something about how you might like clam up or you might be like, no, not today. Or like you might be like, I'll just be introverted and scared um, or anything. All of those things that we do, like I've been confronting a whole lot of that this week and I've been talking my way through it with a few of my friends. This is like, damn, I feel a whole lot of my own personal resistance lately. But okay, let's get two more cards about this blessing. I know like the two of cups for me is very much like a destiny card, like your outer world um, is reflecting your inner world and the inner world reflecting your outer world very well, like two counterparts meeting each other and it just meant to be kind of energy. And I just, I love all of these cards for you all. But okay, your next two cards, we have spring and we have cervix. How beautiful is that? Opening up to this blossoming of something new in your reality. It Okay, 
One of the curious things about the hanged one, it is like sea life from a different perspective. It is also meaning that there are parts of you, parts of your vision, parts of your approach to life, what you might be planning that are very pure, very whole, very true for you. Also, the reality outside of you might be preventing you from being able to act on any of that. It might be in direct opposition to that, but the, the hangman is actually a very good, like, non-negotiable card. Like, it comes out when it's like, this, this is me. No more conversation. <laughs> like, uh, this is this is what I stand for. There we go. Yeah, um, that's non-negotiable. It's very much that kind of energy. And I like this because there's something about you communicating what the blessing is, is that you're going to realize, holy shit, I can get down from this tree now. Like I'm so much less restricted. There's something in the advice that you'll receive. There's something in the reception of you sharing, talking, showing, again, that support and encouragement to, or blah who will support and encourage you on your journey to fulfill your dreams. Yeah, it's literally like, oh my gosh, I'm so much less restricted because I have this like interpersonal support here. Here we go. I'm healing something. I'm feeling more abundant, more precious, more confident, all that kind of energy. So again, the springtime, this is like a blossoming. Come down from your perch engage in something that's brand new that has such a potential to grow and then the cervix is a huge energy of open up <laughs> there are things that want to come through you this empress is pregnant there are ideas that you have been working on who you see yourself in the future being and um yeah i don't know just like interpreting i'm hearing the word interpreting for others maybe what you see as your business plan, what you see, uh, if this is all translating for a love reading, then this is all like, do open up to this person, do express who you are, what you've been working on, because there's such, such a potential that you will be very well supported in every part of what you consider important in your world right now. Every part of it. It's a great love match. Come on. <laughs> okay, your next two cards. We have Earth Mother. Oh my God. It's like Empress Earth Mother. And this is a very feminine deck, by the way. And it's like, open up. You've got something divine. You have something that's very prosperous, very abundant, very bountiful coming through you. It's time to unveil it. It's time to communicate to it. I like that I just channeled that. It's time to communicate to it. How interesting that that random phrasing, because I was moving on to your gratitude card, but like that just tumbled out of my mouth like that. It is literally time to communicate to it in terms of the it being what you're building. What you literally would fucking love support and encouragement for for you to be able to do it. Like, you know, and then gratitude. Your blessing is going to generate this from you in you big time. Um, big time. Like, can't even back down from that. It's just, it has so many layers to it. First, you get this reading that's helping you approach opening up to it. Cervix, open. <laughs> birth, birth, birth. Um, <laughs> You know, open up to it. So, you know, you're welcome for that. And then secondly, there's a person there to support you. At least one or a community, an audience, friends, a, a social group, something, a business accelerator. Um, and then the three of swords and the healing of like, damn, this is different this time. Hell yeah. Okay. I'm getting you all one more card. Here we go. Disengage from outcomes. Let go so you can open yourself to the highest love that you deserve. You guys. <laughs> like that very first feeling that I had to tell you that I felt when I was reading these words on your friendship card is that I felt like just clamming up and not speaking because it just felt uncomfortable to speak, you know, let go. Highest love, you deserve this. I swear, group three, find ways to release worry or any unresolved lack of forgiveness you might be holding on to. Those honestly feel like very intentional words. Like sometimes I, I know that my bitterness prevents me from opening up. Like my bitterness at what I think should have happened or should happen moving forward. I feel like this is a very good card again for that like 
you really needed this message. But I don't know. Like I'm, I'm allowing that you're receiving so much and I'm intuiting so much in your reading. Like again, like you really, you really needed this um, guidance, hopefully to help you open up and maybe help you en encourage yourself to acknowledge and allow any kind of preconceived judgments or frustrations you might have that'll get in the way of you being able to receive. We all have such deep receiving wounds. This is a very feminine thing. What do you want to allow in? How would you like to be treated? It's hard. It's hard to engage in that in our modern era. In our modern world, just remember your superpower of consent, it feels like. It feels like you've built that up pretty well. But yeah, release worry might be the biggest one. <laughs> Unresolved lack of forgiveness it might be something very specific, like those exact specific words might be the best for you to, I don't know, almost meditate on or acknowledge. This might literally be someone who you already know. Uh, I, it's funny because like I, I, I spoke so much in your reading until I got to like this might be a love reading. At this point, we're like 15 minutes into your reading. I'm saying it might be someone who you already know. Count on them. Open up to them more is the encouragement. Very specifically, you're meant to receive this blessing from them. A blessing and I want to say a lot more into the future. Hence this gratitude card. But okay, your last two cards. We have Falcon. Act on the opportunity that's before you. And commit to it without equivocation. <laughs> I'm, I don't really want to interpret those words because they're literally repetitive and perfect. Um, yeah, commit to it without equivocation is very like the visual on a devil card. Like walk away. Like from what is caging you, what is chaining you. Like take those chains and cages off. If you can take a cage off, you know, just get out of it. <laughs> like, you know, just, yeah, shed those layers, commit, do not change course, you know, do this, engage with this. It is a blessing. There is support here and encouragement and it's really great. And then Blue Heron. Wow. Both of these are like mega power bird totems. Make a stand for what you believe in and do what feels right in spite of any judgment or disapproval from others. I find it interesting that the falcon is evoking this devil card and the imagery on it. And then the blue heron feels like the, what I was saying about the hanged one or the hanged person. You know who you are. You are aware of that. And the outside world hasn't exactly been very welcoming. You might have had your fair share of being gaslit, scapegoating. Do I need to list all of the shit that we do to each other and ourselves? Um, yeah, everything that you have done devotionally and committed, it's time to stand in that. And it's time to be able to do more with that because your outer world is ready to mirror your inner devotional commitment and effort to whoever you are, whatever you care most about, whatever you're building in your world and in your life, whatever is so vibrantly devotional. Oh, it's ready. It's ready. This is exciting. You're moving forward and I'm excited to be here for it. I'm excited to do this reading for you, honestly, uh, for many reasons. <laughs> um, but yeah, take your power birds with you and face this new moon energy and receive okay that's what i have for you all group number three if you like this reading and if it has truly benefited you which i hope and think that it's meant to and supposed to um <laughs> then please give it that thumbs up that like button also subscribe comment below check out the links that i have in the description of this video for some tarot offerings including the link to the next group tarot gathering if you are interested and gathering together over Zoom, we all read for each other. If you are a reader of any kind of divination tool, obviously tarot decks, at any level, and you want to hang out, you want to test your skills, come with your deck or tool of choice and something that you would like to receive a reading on. Because in that Zoom session, everyone receives a reading from several different readers at one time, and you get to practice reading for those other people. It is very intentional. It is very safe space. It is very gorgeous, very intuitive and wise. I cannot tell you how much I have loved doing it. I love doing it and I'd love to see your energy there. If you want to be there, it's $11 to sign up, head to the link, see when the next one is. It's usually on the last Saturday of every month at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, but I am sending you on your way. Your blessing is waiting for you. Speak up, definitely. Um, 
the what is the last thing I say? I can't believe I just blanked on it because I say it at the end of every single pile of every reading. <laughs> Please remember <laughs> we are all free and <laughs> we are also all connected always at the exact same time. I love you. Hi, beautiful ones. I like to show you guys the decks that I use in every reading at the end of every reading, and I'm gonna go pretty quickly, but these are the or blah, these are the decks in the order that I use them in. This is the fairy oracle that I started your reading with. That's the tarot deck I used, Sacred Cycles Oracle deck, and then this little mini one, Roots and Wings Oracle. I found it on Etsy, and then this Oracle deck, and then I finished off every reading with these oracle cards from animals. But okay, I love you guys, enjoy your blessings.